Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, um, I'm kind of excited for. I am talking a little bit quieter, sorry, my daughter is napping. Um, she has a bit of a fever right now, so I'm trying not to wake her, but it's also an opportune time to film content. So um, today is something new, something we've never done before. Um, if you clicked on this video, you've already seen the title, so you already know what we're doing. Uh, but I got a bullet journal and I got it for a few reasons. One, I don't love traditional planners. I find they either don't have enough of what I want or too much and I don't end up following it. So um, I don't even know how I got into thinking that I would want one. I was just looking for inspiration for my um, future stationary business and kept coming across these beautiful spreads and planning and business things and I was like you know what maybe I'll give it a try so I went out and got all this stuff um, which I'll show you in a second and I thought we could do it together so I've already started like an index or a table of contents and um, I started drawing a little bit in it um, just figuring out what I want to go in my journal and what I think will help me to be the most productive that I can be. Um, but it's, it's meant to be a mix of uh, business and life planning as well as kind of like a self-help for myself to keep myself uh, motivated, accountable, on track, happy, grounded, you know, reduce my anxiety a little bit. I've had some issues uh, in the last year with um, anxiety. So we're dealing with all of that. But anyways, um, let's, let's get into it. I'll show you what I got. So I got the Scribbles That Matter notebook. I'll try some ASMR. I'm not very good at it. Sorry. Um, so that's just the outside of it. And then this is the inside, or this is the actual notebook. And I got it in mustard yellow, um, just because, I don't know why I'm doing this, I feel like it's fun. Um, it's fall, and it's a beautiful color. So it, it's a vegan leather, so it's really nice. And then it's got a little strap. It comes with its own little writing utensil. Um, and then, I haven't really cracked this one yet, but it's a dot grid. And it's nice, uh, like dots so you can see them, but it's nothing insane. Um, and then it comes with two different little bookmarks in it. And it did come with just a little paper notebook, which, or, or um, bookmark or whatever it's supposed to be, A5 divider guide it says. But I um, can't find my actual ruler, uh, my clear one. It's somewhere in my craft bin, probably, that's out in the storage shed. So anyways, so, just rambling. I got that. So that is going to be for the next, hopefully, six months. I'm hoping to be able to fix, fit six months worth in it for what I have planned. Um, and now I went to buy some uh, Micron pens to write with it. And I actually really like the one, this one that comes with it. So I'm probably going to use that because I also made a boo-boo and I went into Michael's and I grabbed an 03 and an 05, um, individual pens. And then I seen a four pack with two A O threes and two O fives, except I made a mistake and grabbed the wrong ones. These are, I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, that might not focus, but those are 003 and 005 is what it says. So they're very tiny. So they don't really work all that well. So I might use them if I get fancy with drawing in the notebook. Um, I'll definitely be doing a few doodles, but I'm not gonna go all out. This is my first one and I wanna focus more on the actual usefulness of the book. Um, and then I got myself three mild liners. Um, that are the dual tip ones. It's not upside down, sorry. Um, so I got this cute little, um, does it have a color on it? No doesn't say. Um, little highlighter slash marker. So I got a pink and a purple and like a blue green color. So it kind of looks like Easter, which isn't really fall colors, but I like them. That make, that make my hat fly. So, so yeah, so those are my writing utensils that I got. And then I also got, and this will be another video entirely because I don't know how to do it, but 
everybody has beautiful handwriting in their bullet journals and I wanted to have beautiful handwriting. So <laughs> I went out and got myself some Rhodia paper, um, which is a grid paper. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this type of paper, um, but it is excellent for calligraphy. So I'm going to be taking a calligraphy class online and I got a couple markers to go with it. Um, I got the Tombow dual tip marker. And so it's got like a really bendy, long, huge, it's like for writing really big one. And then this end just has like basically a little marker tip on it. Um, and then it got a Tombow uh, Fudenosuke, I believe. And it was a two pack. And this black one is, I forget which one's which. They look kind of both the same, but um, I think the black one is more, oops, is more of the um, um, like soft tip, and then the bl the blue one is a harder tip. Um, so I have a few different utensils for learning how to um, write calligraphy style. I don't plan on getting really good at it, just good enough that I can. Um, you know, write on Christmas cards or write in my bullet journal or um, once I get myself an iPad, um, write digitally in, a, in my own calligraphy, calligraphy font instead of um, using typefaces or fonts that are already generated. Um, so this was me just practicing a couple of the beginning strokes and trying to write words. They don't look amazing by any means and then I got it was our wedding second wedding anniversary yesterday so I got Kyle a card and I wanted to write his name on it so I was practicing his name it's, it's not very good but um anyways I just I only practiced a couple times and then I wrote it I wrote it out but um I have to actually go through the course it's online and it's by um the happy ever crafter and she's actually Canadian. She's a, only lives like an hour and a half away from me. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I found her on YouTube and then I signed up for her course and the first module, which teaches you like the breaststrokes and stuff that's free. And then you pay, um, for, she has five courses after that to expand your skills. Um, should you want to take them and each of those are paid. But anyways, I'm rambling now. Point of this is to start my bullet journal. What I started working on was, so I put in a key um, and I put that the bullet journal belongs to, but I want to write my name all pretty, so I haven't done that yet. And then I kind of started a key just for planning part of this bullet journal. So um, I kind of stuck with a traditional one, but then also did kind of a variation as well. So I have a task in progress completed, task moved, which I didn't need to put a box around that. It'll just be an arrow. Um, appointment, a note, an event, an idea, and canceled or deleted or whatever you want to say. So I also got a hundred, I think this is 160 GSM paper. So it's mega thick. Like, like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is one page. Like it's so thick. Um, yeah. So then on the first page, I don't know if you can see that, but I wrote art because it's just a totally blank page. Oh yeah, here it says here, A5 dotted 160 GSM. So it's an A5 notebook as well. Um, I don't really know what all that means yet, but I know that because I'm starting a stationary business, I need to learn what all the um, A's, A5, A7, that sort of thing, um, sizes actually are. So anyways, I'm going to just do some artwork here that I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. And then this will be my index. I don't have a title yet because I want it to be beautiful. Um, but what I have is a year to glance or future log in bullet journal terms, uh, short and long-term goals, savings goal tracker, uh, Jamaica baby, because I, um, we want to plan a trip to Jamaica in a, probably a couple of years, not, not this year or next year, but a couple of years. Um, so I thought I would do a trip tracker and kind of just keep us motivated. Um, a home repairs and upkeep. So this will all be at the very beginning of the journal because it's just ongoing. It's not a monthly basis. Books to read, YouTube tracker, um, stationary dreams. And then, uh, so that's just going to be a place for me to write down ideas and kind of brain dump 
stuff I'll have like I have page 11 to 14 for that so I have quite a few pages um, and then it starts into the month of October and October is in less than a week so I really want to have just sort of the bare bones started on the journal so that I can actually start using it right away um, and then I'll just do month by month from there but um, October I'll just do an art page then I'm gonna have a monthly overview monthly goals and then a daily gratitude a habit tracker so that'll be the beginning of each month so overview goals gratitude and then a habit tracker that I can keep track of for that month um, and then I'll go we each spread will have a week and then after the weekly spread is done I'm gonna do a month in review kind of just because we had the monthly goals and then we'll do a monthly review at the end and see um, you know did I hit the goals what needs to change that sort of thing just kind of go over it all and having um, the daily gratitude and the habit tracker will help keep me accountable for actually opening up the journal every day um, I bring it with me even to work um, because I have an hour lunch and I just kind of I've done my lunch in about 15 minutes so it gives me 45 minutes during the middle of the day when I'm at work so I don't really have an excuse not to do it because um, even if mornings and evenings are too busy I do have time at work so um, gonna do that and then it'll start into the month of November so I am it works out that I'm starting in October because that's the fourth quarter um, so I've, I've fallen into at least the appropriate quarters even though it'll be Q4 and Q1 and then Q2 and Q3 in the next journal but anyway so that is kind of the layout for what I want to do so I thought today we could just start working on it together so I'm gonna switch to a more of an overhead view um for you this is just more index pages and then this is what i've got so far this is where i've started this is just going to be my future log ear to glance is what i've started with i kind of smudged the pink already whoops i just started writing it out so this is october november december of 23 and then january to march of 24. so it's just got the calendar and the dates up here and then down here will be um any events or upcoming things just for me to have a quick glance at what I'm expecting for the next six months you know weddings or um, important things doctors appointments anything major holidays planned that sort of thing so um, that's gonna be the first sort of main page that you look at and then that, that's all I've started on and then I've kind of sketched out uh, short and long-term goals I honestly <laughs> don't know what they are yet it's going to be i put one two and three here because i'm going to do one two and three years i know three years isn't really that long term but it's about as far in advance as i want to plan i don't i don't know a lot of people do one three five or one five at ten and i just i know it's important to kind of think about that far in the future but at the same time i'm really motivated um, to, to plan and prepare for the next one to three years. So I think those are the goals I'm going to stick with for now. Maybe in the next journal, I will extend it to five years or, or even 10 years, um, or maybe at the end, or maybe I can do another page with like longer term goals. But for now, we're going to stick with one, two, and three. And then uh, that's all I've got so far. So I just thought we could work on it together. So I will flip the camera now and we'll do some drawing and it'll be nice and relaxing I hope and I'll see how I can fancy it up here but it's not gonna be beautiful as you could like my writing is not really that nice um, that's just my regular printing so um, but I also don't want it to be the most I don't, I don't need it to be amazing I'm sure I'll get better at it with time but we're going for functionality more than beauty contest here so let's get into it guys okay so this is my spread this is what we're going to work on today. This is the future log. I'm going to put on some YouTube and I'm going to start. And we will get to drawing. I don't know what I want to watch. There's some new ones out. So I am left-handed and I tend to lean over my work. So I'll do my best not to. This isn't um, exactly an overhead um unit thing that I have my phone attached to, but hopefully it is good enough that you guys can see what's going on without me being totally in the way.
So that's the basics. Uh, basically my entire family has birthdays between October and March. <laughs> so we've got a lot of birthdays going on and I know I missed a couple, but I can't think of the dates off the top of my head. So I'll have to look um, up the rest and I'm going to save the words future log for when I can write something pr pretty, but I think I'm going to work on some artwork up here. I don't know exactly what I want to draw. I might uh, go on Pinterest and see what I can get. These I wanted to do kind of like little notes or, you know, torn long pieces of paper or receipts or whatever um, that show just kind of, I know they're not exact, like I've got a 14 here, 14 here, and a 16 up here, but I don't have exactly 31 spaces. So I just kind of ballparked it with room for things in between. It's really just a it's really just to look and see what's going on that month. Very much just the basics. Um, I like these markers, but or these highlighters, but they kind of smudge a little bit. I'm not sure if that's the highlighter's fault or the pen's fault, but um, they're a little bit smudgy, but that's okay. Okay, so I sketched out a few peonies. Um, I'm very, very rusty. It doesn't really look all that good, but hopefully with a little bit of detail, it'll be better. So I just did the one here. This one I kind of did really sideways, so looks a little silly compared to the other three over here, but, and then I'm going to do future log here. It's going to be a little off center. Um, I was going to do three on each side, but then it doesn't leave much space in the middle. And I kind of look up, I like the look of the off center. So I'm going to go ahead and make it permanent and you shall see how it looks. And yeah, I don't know. Good thing this is only the first page. <laughs> Something like that. It's a good start. I'm going to add the details in a little bit. Rachel just woke up, so um, I've got to call it quits for now. But I would say, all in all, that's a decent start to our first page. I think it's going to look really good. Okay, so it's actually been a couple of days since I filmed last. Um, the baby woke up and then life just happened. And yesterday I was too busy to do anything. So all I really did otherwise was just um, do a little bit of like basic lines in the flowers. Um, and I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of color to it. And then this page will be done. So let's get this wrapped up. Um, I have a little bit of time. I need to sharpen some of these pencils though. Okay. So these are actually watercolor pencils. So I don't know if I'm gonna use them that way. I might, we'll see. I grabbed some water and some paper towel. Um, and let's just see what we can do here. So that's the leaf just lightly colored in. That's it with some color. There's some water. I wonder if maybe I'll just color it first. Add a little water after. Not too much, so. This paper.
paper's pretty thick. I'm assuming it'll hold up well, but I'm not totally sure how well. I also don't really know how to use these all that well. Such a fine line between it being like a pencil crayon and a paintbrush. So definitely not my forte. But that's okay. It'll be, it'll be what it'll be. I'm not really worried about it. Maybe I'll do these ones later and just leave them as regular, light colored, light-ish colored, because it's kind of wet now. and soft and pretty pink I really like pink but I wanted to do like these parts here in a with water color because I think it'll turn out a little darker Shade all this in first. And then we're going to add little bit of water to this, darken it. Those are a little darker. And then I wonder if I should add
something. Okay, add a little bit of color. There. Well, I think I kind of ruined it with the colors, if I'm being honest. But I don't really know how to use those pencil colors. Anyways, it is what it is. There's the first spread done. So let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you like following along or if you prefer not to see <laughs> me fail epically at coloring. Um, but I'm really enjoying the design process. So um, next video, we will work on our short and long-term goals page. But again, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Um, might stick with just using the odd highlighter instead of coloring in my doodles because that didn't really go to plan, but um, I had fun with it anyway, so. All I have left to do then is just put the title up here and that is it. Again, I think I'm gonna wait um, until I can work on some proper lettering techniques because I kind of want it to look nice. Um, but it's just gonna say future log up here. And I mean, other than the bad coloring, I think like, I think it's a pretty decent start. It looks really good. Um, it's the first page of my first ever bullet journal and I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So I'm really excited. Um, next week we will work on this one and this is the short and long-term goals. And like I described earlier, I'm just doing one, two and three year goals. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I think I'm gonna do sort of a, like a long line, like kind of like you see layout, but um, I haven't figured out exactly how I wanna do it yet. So um, I will play with some ideas in my mind and I will be sure to film the next one. But if you guys like this content, and I'll definitely show you as soon as I write my title in here, because that'll just finish it off really nicely, I think. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I should be adding anything more to it, or if this is too much, or if it looks just fine the way it is. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching, following along. I hope you like the bullet journal content because I'm really enjoying doing it so far. So there will probably be a few more videos like this one coming out, just setting up the journal and, um, yeah, practicing, definitely practicing. And I think we're going to ditch the watercolor pencil crayons, um, for a while until I can figure out what I'm doing, or maybe I'll keep using them and, and maybe I'll get better. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. Um, hope you liked it. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so this is the font I decided to go with. I have no idea if it's going to look good. I just really kind of scribbled it in, and I just did, like, blocks in the back, and then just my own cursive writing in the front. Now, I might be too busy. I kind of made it a little bit bigger than I should have maybe, but with the length of the spread, it kind of needed to go big, I think, in order to make it fit all the way across. So we're just going to draw it on and we'll see how it looks. And if it sucks, oh well. They have my hair totally in the way, sorry. There, I think that looks like it says future log. And then I think it would look really cool if I did the future part in color, but I don't have- Mommy. Yeah, honey. Okay, throw in the garbage. Okay, I think that this would look good if this was the in a different color, but I don't think I have anything. 
that would go. These are not fine point enough, I don't think. I think purple's out, there's too much purple. I think I'll do blue, there's not enough, there's not a lot of blue. So I'm gonna try putting this in in blue. Hopefully it doesn't smear. I don't know how much I love these markers. Oh well, it is what it is. If I keep going over it, it's going to bleed through. Okay. <laughs> Once again, kind of ruined it. But I like the idea. I'm gonna have to work on what tools to use where and when. But that's the end of that one. Let me know what you guys think.